This car here is the real Bloodhound SSC. For years we've had pictures and fiberglass mock-ups. This is the actual car that will go year after next 1,000 miles an hour and next year we're going to be going for a record of 800 miles an hour. We already have the jet, the Rolls-Royce EJ200 jet engine. We already have that installed. We have the Jaguar engine, we have a 550 horsepower supercharged Jaguar V8 just to power the fuel pump for the rocket system. We have all the electronic systems installed, pressure sensors, strain gauges, wheels as you can see. We, the, the biggest key area we need to develop is the rocket system. And apart from that the car is basically ready to go. The wheels are very, very difficult to design because they're a they're a disc that's spinning at 10,500 RPM. The radial G on the wheels is 50,000 times the force to gravity. So if you put a one kilogram bag of sugar on the wheel rim, it weighs 50,000 kilograms when the car is running. So coming up with a wheel shape that would survive those forces and the action of the desert and the occasional stone hitting it was, a, was an incredibly large challenge. The fin is the, it's the hardest working fin in history. It's about the same size as the fin on a Hawk fighter trainer, but they'll be doing the sort of speeds, they'll be doing six or 700 miles an hour at 30,000 feet where the air is very, very thin. We're doing 1,000 miles an hour at sea level where the air is very thick. So it's effectively, you're trying to push this fin through treacle. So it is the hardest working fin in history. Um, next Easter, we'll be off to Newquay. It's a runway in Cornwall. We'll do low speed runway testing up to around 200 miles an hour just to do systems checks to check all the systems speak to one another and everything works correctly. From there on, we'll go later in the year, we'll, we'll bring the car back, we'll build it ready for the desert. Later in the year, we'll then go to the desert with an aim of doing what we call low speed testing. That will be 800 miles an hour, up to 800 miles an hour. So that's a new record. That's some really useful data. We then bring the car back for 2017. We then have a new rear end of the car housing three rockets, not one and we go back to the desert again for the 1,000 mile an hour runs. Well, the, the project was started over eight years ago now. So we, it, it started in a small room at the University of the West of England in Bristol. It was a team of four people. From there, it, it went through a number of design changes to come up with the final shape you see here. This shape was completed about three years ago and so everything you see here has been built in the last two years.